Yeah! Yay! Hi, I'm Clay Carlino, and I am not an auto mechanic, but I do have to fix my truck. Again. If you've been watching this channel, you may remember that this truck has been having a little bit of a starting issue. And I tried fixing it by cleaning the terminals, which worked in the short term, but the problem has not gone away. I'm going to change out these old beaten up terminal clamps with some brand new shiny terminal clamps. Hopefully, that'll fix it. As you can see, I've already removed the terminal clamps from the battery. I took off the negative one first, and then the positive one. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to use an 11 millimeter socket, which is easier to do with two hands, but you know. Ah, that's not so bad. Oh my gosh, look at that. Well, there's your problem right there. Look at that. Those are terrible. It's no wonder I'm not getting a good connection. These wires need to be cleaned up, and then I'm gonna replace the clamps. So to clean these up, I'm gonna use this wire brush here. That is what we want. Now I'm going to go through and do it to the rest of the wires. Alright, so I have all the wires cleaned up. See, nice and shiny. Nice and shiny. Pulled this little con quick connect off and cleaned that up. Made it nice and shiny. So I'll, now I'm going to uh, crimp this back onto this wire. And then I'm going to install the new terminal clamps. I don't have the proper crimping tool to put this eye loop on, so I've just been using a uh, large pair of pliers to the best of my ability, but here's something that I can do. In this pair of pliers, there's this little gap right in here, and I can put this right in that little gap and use that to put a crimp right in the middle there, and that, there we go, there. You see what that did? That, uh, that put a nice little crimp right in there and that will help make sure that this can't pull off. I got the set of these at Advanced Auto for about seven dollars. Uh, I think that they're going to do the trick and all you do is you loosen the bolts here. You see they have nuts encased here so you just have to tighten them from the top and the wire goes in here. All right. That's good. That's real good. All right. I'm going to do the other one. All right. These are installed and I tightened everything down good and tight. They look gorgeous. I'm really excited. So, now I just need to put them back on the battery terminals and see if the truck starts. On, on this one, I think I'm gonna take it off and I'm gonna install it upside down because right now, the nut that I would need to tighten against is on, uh, on this side where I can't reach it. And I don't want that. I want it to be on the outside. So, I'm gonna undo that, flip it over, and then put it on. All right, I've got it flipped over now, which is really gonna bother my OCD, but having this nut on the inside here would have bothered me a lot more. So now, I can just put this in here. Ah, oh, you hear it crackling already. There we go. These clamps are made of very soft metal. And if I wanted to, I could easily torque down with this thing and close this gap, but I just want it to be tight. I don't want to stretch the metal out so that it can't do its job. All right, so now here's the moment that we've all been waiting for.
Look at that. All right, well, there you go. Finding out that you do not have to be afraid to change your terminal clamps. This is Clay Carlino telling you to be brave. Yay! It's pretty hot. <laughs>